Hey guys, this is Judas. Welcome to another training for today. I will teach you how to master in nine steps very beautiful canon by Robert Schumann, number three in E major. It's a wonderful opus uh, 56 um, canonic study um, from six uh, canonic studies for pedal piano. But of course it sounds wonderful on the organ and I just realized that it would sound beautiful um, as a tutorial too because it's my actually last chance to teach you because uh, in a couple of days uh, Osha and I will be going uh, to play a concert in Warsaw in Poland on the oldest organ in Warsaw from 1909 at the Evangelical Reform Church and I will be playing this particular canon there and after that, I will play back at home uh, the rest of the collection, but not this particular canon. I already recorded a tutorial on uh, canon number one, canon number two, and it's time now for canon number three. I hope you will enjoy it. Um, so, uh, it's my last opportunity to, to teach you. It's a wonderful piece, it's a challenging piece, but only two, two pages long. And it only takes nine uh, nine steps, nine simple steps, and I will teach you all of them to you today. I'm using uh, Annaberg uh, Buchholz Walker Euler sample set uh, from Organ Art Media. Media organ is from 1884, and it's a very beautiful German Romantic sample set, and um, it will sound beautiful. Uh, there is, uh, there is, of course, a possibility to co uh, select uh, just pre-selected, pre, pre uh, earlier setup uh, combination like pianissimo, piano, mezzo forte, forte, fortissimo, and tutti. But I'd like you to understand how to register this piece. So instead of just picking what's what's uh, there, I will uh, select stops one by one. Obviously, we need two manuals. Obviously, we need two manuals. And let's see. Yeah, manuals are set up. And we will be looking at the first manual, right? Uh, that will be our right hand part. The left hand part will play on, this, on the second manual. So let's set up the registration. So the dynamic level is, of course, sometimes mezzo forte, sometimes piano. So piano, I would say, it's for the second manual, and mezzo forte is for the for the first manual. And uh, mezzo forte in German Romantic words, it's like a more or less principle and a few stops, uh, softer stops combined. So like this. Maybe Gemshorn, Bourdon, Holflöte, Doppelflöte, and maybe even Viola Gamba. What is Dolce? What is Quintaton? Uh, maybe not Quintaton. All right, so we have perhaps our right hand combination. Now let's do left hand combinations. Principal eight, Gedacht, Spitzflöte, all eight footsteps. Salitional, and maybe not uh, Eolina because it's very soft. Yeah, the uh, right hand will sound a little louder, and now set up the pedals. Pedals uh, probably will need will need 16 feet violon bass, subas, bourdon, du, de, in in French, octavas. Oh, it's louder. And whole flat bass, in violoncello bass. So basically. Everything from 16 and 8 except the principal bus 16. Maybe a little bit too too loud. Maybe no octave bus 8. 
because it's not a very prominent um, part, but just accompaniment. Uh, accompaniment is the bass. Okay, let's see how our uh, stream is going. Well, it's going great. All is green, so I think I'm ready to teach you. Okay, registration is set up. Now let's take take at each step one by one. Okay, the first step is to play entire piece and stop at the beginning of every beat. This is 4-4 four, four meter, common meter, so we'll stop at every quarter note. Okay, let me move the microphone and demonstrate it for you. Like this. like this, stopping at the beginning of every quarter note and do it from the beginning until the end until you can do three times in a row without mistakes. Very very slowly but all those uh, 360 notes between the beats are fast. Then the second step is um, somewhat longer, uh, two beats at a time, basically uh, stopping at every half note. Here we go. Okay, that's very simple also. Three times in a row without mistakes, and you can go on to the step number three, which is stopping at the, each downbeat at, at the beginning of every measure. Here we go. Okay, that's step three. And then step four would be two measures at a time. Stop and start at the beginning of every two measures, basically twice per line. Here we go.
Yes, also three times in a row without mistakes. Beautiful. Now step number five would be to start and stop at the beginning of every line because usually there is four or three measures in this uh, in each line. Wonderful. Let's do it. Now, of course, there is um, uh, quite difficult sometimes uh, spots in this in this in this um, piece, but uh, we haven't uh, yet uh, come to these spots where you have to play uh, with the left hand, both on the second manual and the first manual, basically thumbing down. Not always, but but there are a few spots where the distance between the two voices, the canon voices in the right hand part are greater than one octave. Uh, and you have to hold it with the left hand, one note. I guess it will come in uh, in the fourth line, in the fourth line. So, so step number six would be to play two lines at a time, stopping uh, at the beginning of line three, line five, so to say, yeah, let's do it. And so on. This piece is uh, written in ABA form, and uh, after one, two, three, four, eight, twelve measures, there is a middle part B in uh, in A major in in uh, in subdominant key, and the outer sections are in the uh, tonic key in E major with four sharps. So when I stopped, uh, if if I if I show you. For example, just the keyboards, fourth line. If I play very slowly, and then I am I'm getting ready for coming down like that. Again, timing down and probably sliding. I guess on the on the pedal piano it wouldn't be a problem because all the voices would be on one keyboard. But if you want to play with the with the nice registration for the canonic voices in the right hand part. That would be very beautiful to do. Canon is uh, at a distance of uh, two quarter notes, starting from measure three. And um, I will show you a little bit where. Yes, here, here. 
And let me see if you can if you can see it yeah right here in the right hand part there is uh, e c sharp and uh, in in the alto a f sharp so it's lower fifth apart lower fifth canon at the distance of the half note beautiful um yeah, someone was uh, working on on canons and other contrapuntal uh, things, even on fugues, on the name of BACH. At the time of his life, and he was really fascinated by by Johann Sebastian Bach and his uh, you know works, and he was becoming friends with uh, Johannes Brahms, the younger uh, composer, younger generation, and um, they both. Together with uh, with Clara Wieck, uh, composers Schumann's wife, they all three formed this like a study group, and together they studied counterpoint. And these things, of course, were influenced by 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 Schumann's love of uh, Baroque music. Okay, so now let's see. Let's recap what we have. The first step is uh, playing um, and stopping at the beginning of every beat. The second step is starting and stopping every two beats, half note. Third beat is once per measure, uh, third step. Uh, fourth step is twice per line, after two probably measures. Fifth step would be once per line, at the beginning of each line. And step number six, which I just did, is uh, stopping every two lines. And in this edition, there are five lines per page, five system. So there are ten, ten uh, systems all together because there are two pages in this piece. And so stopping basically five times, right? Five times uh, in this six step. If you can do it three times in a row without mistakes, then you are ready to go to step number seven. And that would be to start and stop after four lines. At the beginning of line one, line five, and then uh, line nine. Three times per, per piece also. All right, so... Let's demonstrate it. Okay, that's step number seven. And now step number eight would be to start and stop at the beginning of every page, once per page. Let's do it. Let's do it.
it's a very playful piece and um, this eighth uh, step where I stopped just after the first page demonstrates it right um, remember to um, to play those intricate um, staccato staccato uh, arpeggios in the in the left hand part in the B section very carefully I'm playing a little bit for you from from the third measure of line four it's a harmony basically texture Uh, but you have to train yourself not to look at the at the keys always look at the music and then you will feel the the keys with your fingers right uh, it's tricky if you play some historical organs where the distance between the first manual and the second manual is greater than in modern uh, keys and the second manual is, you know, pushed, pushed uh, a little bit further. So thumbing down, it's difficult this way. It's, I played this at the Franciscan church uh, the other weekend, and it was rather difficult to do. Okay, but modern organs don't have this uh, challenge. It's easier, but it's technically challenging. You still have to work on it. So. Uh, step number eight stopping uh, twice per page twice per piece uh, at the beginning of each page and now let's do step number eight playing entire piece without stopping okay let's do it one more time I made uh, e sharp mistake. I played without the sharp. I have one idea which I have to try out maybe a little bit um, louder pedals don't you think either this way with octave bass or with principal bass maybe with octave bass let's do it yeah maybe put it better one more time
Okay, so this was a tutorial uh, from eight or nine steps, how to master in nine steps, beautiful a E major uh, canon by Robert Schumann from his collection of uh, six canonical studies, um, opus 56 for pedal piano. This is wonderful collection, I re really highly uh, recommend it and so far I played uh, one two three and number six and I have to say this number three is the be most beautiful to me right now of course number four and number five are probably audience's favorites uh, for obvious reasons and I will play them later this summer as well uh, in my home and also in, in concerts as well. So stay tuned for other tutorials, hopefully later, later this year. Okay, thank you so much. Um, if you enjoy this tutorial, uh, hopefully uh, we will prepare, I and my, and my team will prepare uh, the, the fingering and pedaling for this piece also. So stay stay tuned for the link in this this description, and you can also enjoy playing with my fingerings and pedalings for this piece later. All right, thank you so much, and good luck in your practice. And stay tuned for other tutorials, and let me know how your practice goes, and let me know what you're working on, and maybe you have questions and uh, things you would like me to teach you. I would appreciate your requests. Thank you. And let's check the tutorial. Stream everything is great. So I hope I hope everything went well to you. See you next time. Bye bye.